What's up everyone, welcome to the channel. As you can see today, it's finally a, a decent day out. Um, so the plan is to get four of those six tires. Well, actually I'm gonna do all six, but the four on the left are the Summers, the two on the right are the Drag Radials, but the Hellcat is getting the rear alignment done soon. So I'm going to be prepping these wheels to put back on the car. I'm um, going to be doing a pinnacle black label wheel coating on the barrels, the faces, pretty much everything to do with the wheel. Um, I actually did those four already last year when I got the wheels, but I'm going to do another coat again before putting them on for this summer. I'm going to give it 24 hours and do a second coat. Um, those are brand new over there, um, so I'm going to do them as well. And then hopefully after the rear alignment gets fixed, at least the summers will be going on and uh, hopefully shortly after that I will be putting the the NTO 5 R's on the back and using them for daily driving for the most part unless I have to drive you know 7500 miles or so away from home then I'll probably put the rear Continentals back on um, but before I get into doing all that I got a couple of errands to run today so Figured it would be a good time to try out the the new glasses. So let's go ahead. Need to pick up a prescription for I'll be right over. Thanks. Can you verify the address please? Do you have a balance report number? It's gonna be four sixty eight. Do you want to use the express pay? Yes, please.
Okay, everyone, got home, got my uh, errands that I wanted to run done, so now it's time to get started on the wheels. Um, originally, I was going to use my little 4x4 as a prop on the floor to get the wheel up off the ground a little bit to angle it towards me to work, but I realized my wife's uh, running boards for her grooming van box actually sits a lot higher, so I think I'm going to use this as my... Uh, work surface. Let me try plugging in my LED shop light here. Hopefully that'll give me enough light on the situation since I'm still using the glasses with the tinted lenses in them. So it is a little dark in the garage here. front wheels probably should have kept that there <clears throat> okay I have already taken these out and actually uh, cleaned them pretty thoroughly out in the driveway with the actual wheel cleaner and all that fun stuff so for this what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just use an IPA solution um, to just strip off any residue that might have been left and I just realized I don't think this light's going to sit up high enough so let's see what happens here That's going to have to be good enough. I'm going to open the garage door as well. Hopefully that'll provide enough uh, light to get this done. Oh, wrong door. <clears throat> okay. So I'm only going to do this with uh, one wheel uh, on camera. Pretty sure it's pretty easy to figure out. I'm going to do it six times total, but no need to display that all in a video. My videos tend to be too long as they are anyway. <clears throat> in case anybody's wondering, these are the uh, factory reproduction um, wheels. Uh, the company's actually called Factory Reproductions. Uh, they're the Hellcat replicas. Um, they're, I think, a lot heavier than the factory Hellcat wheels, but uh, <clears throat> I wanted a second set of summer tires for using, obviously, in the summer, but I wanted to keep the winter tire set up. One, because the car's a lease. Two, because in Delaware, um, as this winter has proven, it sucks. Uh, so I wanted to be able to, you know, have something to use in the wintertime. Um, so uh, these wheels are actually gloss black. They are not the satin black like the actual factory uh, black finish wheels. Um, I like the look of the gloss black with the uh, Go Mango. That's why I did the gloss black cat head for the fenders. And the gloss black decals for the uh, <clears throat> for the badging to give the car more of the mango black look instead of the mango and silver look. Okay, this is the product I'm going to be using. Uh, like I said, it's the uh, Pinnacle Black Label Diamond Wheel Coating. Um, I don't know how hard this is or what the rating is against like a ceramic coating. So I don't know what the, the like 9H or whatever the whatever the scale is, but uh, it's pretty straightforward. You just spray it on the applicator, you put it on, uh, you give it a minute, I believe, to flash. Then you buff off the uh, the high stuff, and then you're done. Um, it does say on the bottle to wait uh, an entire 24 hours if you're going to do a second coat. 
Um, I know different coatings, I think, call for different time delay or different times in between coatings. Um, so that's why I'm trying to get all six of these done today. Uh, and then hopefully, um, you know, tomorrow I'll be able to do the uh, second coat on them. If I find enough time before I actually put them on the car, I might actually do a third coat. I haven't decided on that yet, though. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing this. Just got a regular, I don't even know if this is microfiber or foam. It doesn't feel like microfiber, so it might actually just be a foam applicator. Um, I think if you look at, although it does look like there's a lot of shit coming off of this. Um, if you look at the bottle, it says to use a foam applicator, so I'm not exactly sure why, but... Maybe it's so you don't get this kind of shit going on. All right, so here we go. I need to get a towel to take this off after it flashes in a minute. <clears throat> okay. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> I like these wheels, but damn, they're a pain in the ass to do this kind of shit too with all these spokes split spokes like this this company pinnacle also makes a uh, coating specifically for glass um actually oh look how dirty that was still um i actually have some of that too i'm probably going to redo the glass uh hopefully in the next couple of days or so um i did it last year and it turned out pretty good uh, i was quite happy with the way it uh water beat it up and came right off um you know we made it real easy to clean the windows and stuff like that this off now or buff this down i guess is the proper terminology buff down the high spots okay let's go ahead and turn this over do the face oh, there we go this is going to be real fun trying to get in between all of these spokes with this applicator pad. Early wheels with the uh, 2017 style Hellcat wheels, the five star or the uh, yeah the five spoke solid wheels. Um, I like those wheels uh, way better. Um, unfortunately, when I bought these. Uh, the 2017s hadn't really uh, come out yet, or at least the replicas hadn't come out. I certainly wasn't buying an actual set of brand new uh, 2017 uh, factory wheels, paying uh, you know full price from Dodge for that privilege. That would have been ridiculously expensive. So that wasn't going to happen. So I ended up with these, and it is what it is at this point. But you can see, trying to coat these things is a royal pain in the ass. Especially when you can't really see what you're doing because your contacts aren't the right prescription. But I wanted to try to film as much of this as possible. So, all right. So, I think I got everything on the wheel. Let's see here. Turn the light up a little bit. Change the angle of the light to see. You can see, oh, the center cap and stuff looks like maybe I missed that. Again, uh, you can definitely see the the high spots. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, I guess I'll go ahead and work on trying to get this taken off now. The amount of work that goes into doing this coating, or any coating, I assume, uh, just because of the design of these wheels, really discourage you from wanting to do uh, <laughs> more than one coat actually but I think I'm gonna try to persevere and, and do a second coat on these okay so one of the things you definitely can't tell from obviously the camera is just how slippery these uh, wheels are now with this coating on it I mean obviously it's not gonna keep brake dust from settling on the wheels but I'm hoping that it does help at least with being able to just rinse them off uh, for the most part and not have to do a whole lot of scrubbing on them. Um, I did find last year, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I did do these uh, last year as well before I put them on the car. And I did notice for the most part that, uh, you know, you could kind of just spray the, the large majority of the uh, dirt and, and break dust off and it came off pretty good. So 
hoping with a second coat this year um, it'll make that even much better so let's see I'm not gonna be able to see just how shiny these things are um, in the camera but I think I got most of the high stuff off I might go over it one more time um, off camera all right guys um, I got five more to do and uh, well, then again another another whole six to do tomorrow so but anyway there you go that's uh, the wheel coating I use uh, for getting the wheels ready for going on the car and hopefully that's going to be within the next week I can't wait to get these summer tires back on on the way home I did a quick pull in the Hellcat and uh, my 0 to 60 time in a Hellcat was a crappy 4.9 seconds um, you know that uh, those tires right there those all seasons are just horrible um, at a bigger size I don't know if they would be any better I'm assuming probably not it's just the nature of the tire and what the compound is and plus it's actually not that warm out right now it's about 55 so um, you know, there's a lot of stuff going into that, but anyway, um, yeah, 4.9, so I can't wait till these get back on the car so I can start getting some better times in the, in the Hellcat and my 0 to 60 runs and, and that kind of stuff. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I will leave a link to that uh, Pinnacle wheel coating in the description, so in case you're interested in checking it out, uh, there'll be a link there. So, again, thanks for watching.